course, I'm here to assure you about my stock account update in today's channel. Today, my stock account has made a loss of 1,716 US dollars. The market continues to focus on the Fed rate hike outlook. In my account today, both SQAQ and DRV showed a loss today. The SQAQ made a loss of 1.45% in the market. In the post market, it rose for zero point. It rose for zero point three seven percent. The RV made a loss of three point seven seven percent to forty seven point nine eight, and in the post market, it continued to make a loss of zero point seven nine percent. Today, most of the industry is closed mixed, with the semiconductors it rose for two point six seven percent. The auto manufacturers made a loss of 1.43%. Dow Jones Industrial Average closed slightly lower with a loss of 0.18% to 32,798.4. Nasdaq Composite made a gain of 0.4% to $11,576. S&P 500 made a gain of 0.14% to 3,999. $3, $92.01. Fed Chairman Colin Powell reiterated that end rates could be higher than expected and that higher rate policy would remain for longer. U.S. ADP employment data for February beats expectations, showing that the labor market remained tight, leading investors to speculations that the Fed would accelerate the pace of tightening. On Wednesday, investors continue to watch Mr. Powell's recent speech to the House House fin Financial Services Committee. In his testimony Wednesday, Paul first told the House, financial, House of Financial Services Group that the central bank had not made any decision on the size of possible rate hike later this month. He went to reiterate that the written statement was made last night that, at the Senate Financial Services Committee, Mr. Paul said on Tuesday that the end rate was very likely to be higher than previously expected. If all the data is pointing to the need to accelerate tightening measures, so-called the Fed mouthpiece, Nick tomorrow point out, Paul in Wednesday testimony open, opening made a significant change. Paul said he wants to emphasize that the Fed has not decided to raise interest rates. If all the data suggests that to speed up the pace of tightening is necessary, the Fed will be ready to speed up the pace of raising interest rates. Tamara said there is little to stop the Fed from becoming more hawkish. On last Friday's non-farm payroll, from non farm report and CPS lows sharply next Tuesday. However, the February small non farm data, ADT, just ex exceeded expectations, indicating that the U.S. labor market remains tight and high interest rates do not seem to play a role in the economy. Goldman Sachs economist by Jan Jesus said, We expect the Fed data to be mixed but generally stable. So our 25 basis point March rate hike is pending, and there is a risk that the Fed Open Market Committee will raise the rate by 50 basis points. We now expect the median forecast to peak interest rates to rise by 50 basis points in the March economic forecast summary to reach 5.5% or to 5.75% in 2023, says Carpenter, global chief economist at Morgan Stanley said. What Paul means is very, very clear. If you look at what has happened over the past year and a half, you know that inflation rate, inflationary pressures have not eased. Carpenter added, I think Paul is extremely reluctant to get into trouble again now and therefore ought to. To open the door to 50 basis point is exactly what he has done. The Rick Ryder, Chief, Econom Chief Investment Officer at BlackRock's Global Fixed Income Division, warned that the Fed, could, the Fed would raise interest rates by could in, could raise interest rates by as much as six percent and stay at that level for a long time to fight inflation. Mr. Before Mr. Powell's speech, Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin stressed in a speech on the labor market on Wednesday, warning that high inflation means the Fed still has work to do. On the economic side, on Wednesday, the ADT Employment Agency reported that ADT employment in February rose by. 242,000, compared with an estimated increase of 200,000 and an increase of 106,000 previously. ADT, ADP 
chief economist Neela Rickardson said, the labor market is in a dilemma. We see hiring, which is good for the economy and workers, but wages are still going fast, growing fast. A modest slowdown in wage growth itself is unlikely to reduce inflation quickly in the short term. The treasury yields were higher after the ADP data, with the 10-year yield down 1.5 basis points at 3.96%. After the ADP employment report, according to the Fed Watch tool, the Fed has a 25 basis point to 4.75 to 5%, 77.9% chance to 5.25% range of 50 basis points. 17.2% 17.2% by 50 basis points, 75 basis point, 65.4 and 11 basis, 100 basis points, 100 basis points. Fed swap trading showed its chance of a 50 basis point rate hike at its March meeting rise to 75%. Analysts said ADP employment rate report showed a different trajectory from the non-farm payroll day report. But the ADP employment rebounded in February from its lowest level in a year. An increase of 83,000 jobs in leisure and hospitality and 62,000 in financial services helped drive less employment in construction and professional and business services. Spartan Capital Securities Chief Market Economist Peter Cardillo said, The latest ADP report data was stronger than expected, another reason why the Fed continues to raise interest rates aggressively for longer. He says the ADP report showed 242,000 jobs in February, while the Treasury yields fell. A, fail, a counterintuitive reaction as yields have been higher due to the stronger economic data. One possible explanation could be that the far market already expects an unexpected unexpe- strong ADP. He said the logic of strong data striving, driving higher interest rates added to the concerns about the slowdown. The inversion of the 2 and 10 year bonds suggests that recession fears are deepening. According to a job vacancies and labor mobility survey released Wednesday by the Department of Labor, 10.8 million vacancies were filled last working day of January 2023, with 6.4 million jobs and 5.9 million jobs departures. That's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next episode.